Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're actually just looking at one product which I am very very excited to try as it's only just arrived, I haven't tried it yet and it's actually from Bondi Sands and it's their new Glow Light Highlighting Cream and it comes in this box and I actually love this box without even getting the product out. I love the gold on it, the black. Bondi Sands are obviously most known for their fake tans and they have so many of them and I always hear really good reviews from them, I have never actually tried any of it because I'm not really a fake tan person. I know they're supposed to be good, so I was very excited when this arrived and because I love using highlighter anyway, even though it might not always show up that well on me because I am so pale, I still like using it. So anyway, this is the tube it comes in as well, obviously it just matches the box. And I have it in the shade Pearl, they actually have three shades and the other two are called Bronze and Gold. So so there is one for everyone's skin tone, for everyone to use, depends on what type of highlighter they like because everyone likes gold, no, because everyone likes a bit of a different shade, some like gold, some like pearly shades. I tend to just use whatever I think goes best with the look I'm doing at the moment. And it says on the back of this, get a lustrous glow with Bondi Sands Glow Lights, illuminating pigments enhance the complexion for radiant glow. Wear alone, mix them with base product or illuminate high points when light, light naturally hits the face. So I've actually already done my makeup, I have foundation on and everything because I don't tend to like that really glowy look like with the base makeup. That's just me. Obviously I know so many people it looks amazing on. So I'm actually just going to use it as a highlighter. Obviously I haven't tried this before and I don't normally use cream products. But obviously I haven't set my face or anything so it's not really going to go cakey well hopefully anyway. So I'm not sure to use a muffing or a brush. I might try my finger first because I'm not sure. Oh, it's like a bronzy colour. That's not really showing up. Even though it's called pearl, it's like a bronze. It's like a bronzy, pearly kind of colour. It's really hard to show that on camera. I'll try and put it on my arm so you can see it. it on camera like highlighters are so hard to show but it's like a, it's quite bronze since it's called pearl so i'm not sure but anyway i'm going to put it zoom you in a bit i think i always put highlighter just on my nose oh, i might put a bit too much on never mind You can see it's sort of quite natural looking, I quite like it. I might do the other side with the brush, see if that works any better. You know what, I actually think using your finger it works better than a brush. But it's given like a really nice healthy sheen. Let's put a bit more on. Because you can never have too much highlighter. Well, you probably can, but I say not. <laughs> I definitely prefer putting it on with my finger rather than the brush. It just seems to blend a lot easier. Like I said, I always find highlighters so hard to show on camera. But there, you can sort of see, it gives such a natural glow just here. And obviously, with it being sort of bronzy, it adds sort of, sort of bronze effect, like sun-kissed effect, which obviously is what Bandai Sands are known for, as they do fake tans. And it blended so easily, like, into the foundation, because obviously I've always got the foundation on. It's blended so easily. Like, obviously, if you're using a brush, you could put it, like, here and things. Like I sometimes do, um, obviously brow bones and things like that. You can put it wherever really and I think this would look amazing if you're like on the beach or by the pool and you put it down your legs, like down the actual shin bone. I think that would look amazing because it would really catch the glow there. Or maybe like your collarbones if you're wearing something off shoulder. And you actually get quite a bit in this, it is 25 millilitres. So it's not particularly big but a little definitely goes a long way with it so... 
it would definitely last. But yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed with that. I will use that quite a bit, especially when I'm doing different looks and things, as I always like a little bit of a glow. But obviously, like I said, I don't like using it with the foundation. I prefer putting it on top after when I need it. So yeah, that is my little review of the Bondi Sands Glow Lights Highlighter in Pearl. Like I said, they do do two other shades as well. And if you want to find out more, they actually have a lot on their Instagram. I hope you like this little review and I hope you liked how it looks. I actually really like it. It looks so much better in person than in camera though, which is annoying. But So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another. Bye!